Hi, this is Warren Buckleitner, editor of Children's Technology Review. Today, looking at another exploration app from TinyBop, the Brooklyn based studio that has become well known for bringing common items in it from a child's life that might be complicated or hard to explain and letting them understand how they work. Now after you create a profile for your child, you go in and select the plus sign and you start with a new building that's kind of short. I'm using multi-touch here, a surprise nice feature, and I can start adding floors, either utility floors or residential floors to my building. And once I reach the maximum height of 750 meters, I have the tallest building I can get. I can then try out different uh, tops for the building, antennas, there's about six of them, and then I can start to explore. It's important to note that these buildings are not realistic. They're presented on a three to one scale, so every one floor that you see in one of these floors equals three in a real building. So now I can try out some external forces on my building and just to show you how realistic this uh, app is, when I was doing my lightning tests, we had a, a dog visiting us on a particular day and the lightning sound made the dog bark. So you can see that these effects are quite real. What you're seeing right here is a helicopter that's bringing a damper into place that happens when your uh, building gets to be a certain height. And this is all very, these are you know, real features in, in real buildings. So you can see how the lightning rods transfer the energy of the lightning to the ex external parts of the building. And also you can try out an earthquake. Now a really important part of any skyscraper that you don't see is the foundation and this app lets you experiment with different foundation materials and then you can see how the building would change if you were to put weight on one side or the other. I really like the way you can pinch and pull in and out of the different views and the people in the buildings actually uh, will react to your touch. There's only a few types of them and their vocabulary is very limited, but they do react and that feeling of control is, is, uh, is great, nice feature. There's also in the elevator mode, you can start to explore how the elevator systems work in a building and how there, it really is a huge task to transfer many people safely from the ground floor to the various floors that they live or work on. Well, it's not explicitly mentioned here in this app, there, this would be a nice discussion um, just to talk about the math uh, behind what happens in the statistics involved with what happens if uh, everybody wants to go to the same floor at the same time. Um, the uh, plumbing systems are uh, going to be an area that will be of high interest to children because of the realis realistic sound. Also you can drop things like a goldfish or a whole roll of toilet paper into a toilet and see what happens, uh, which is quite disastrous. Um, fortunately there is a plunger. I did manage to set an entire skyscraper on fire and I tried out every possible way to destroy one of these buildings and was not taught it's not possible but I did get everybody out as you can see here uh, the final part here is electricity and this shows the skyscraper you can turn on and off different offices and and apartments and then you can go in and look specifically at the different electrical components and see what kinds of um, power they draw. So you can, one of the things you notice is that cooling, air conditioning, and um, washers and dryers tend to draw a lot of electricity. And that electric meter shows that. As with other TinyBop apps, your work is saved automatically. And you can go out to your login screen and actually rearrange your skyline. And that's one of the, the points of this app is to show how different skylines 
are affected by building designs. Now you can turn this app into a quiz or a language experience by turning on and off the labels of different parts of buildings. And there are well over 20 different languages that you can set this. Um, there's no spoken language, but there's a lot of printed language. Uh, also, don't miss the documentation that's hidden in the um, different profiles. There's a lot of information about how skyscrapers and skyscraper systems work. If you're looking for a game or a simulation, you won't find it in this app, but what you will find is a lot of fascinating things for a child to explore, as in the other Tiny Bop apps. I'm Warren Buckleitner. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.